Hi there, Christelle and John. The five year old is expected to be okay. That's the good news. He's making improvements. Serious condition, but he's expected to survive. Regardless, community members in this area say this violence is happening too often in Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri police were dispatched to Linwood and Agnes around 1245 Monday morning for reports of three people shot in a car. It just further underscores the problem, or as we like to call it, the 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 in the epidemic of violence in Kansas City when no one is off limits, not even children. Brandon Mims works for Ad Hoc Group Against Crime. He's been in contact with police about the shooting. 34-year-old Jermaine Jackson and 31-year-old Ashley Pettiford died at the scene. Pettiford's five-year-old son was also shot. Fortunately, he's expected to survive. We don't know the relationship of the two who died. Last year was the second deadliest year on record in Kansas City, Missouri. 2020 was the worst. We are currently on the trajectory of 2020. And so I've been talking about this. You're talking about 49 plus um, non-fatal shootings in January and February. So we we had 42 non-fatal shootings alone uh, in January. So, and when we say non-fatals, we're talking about those individuals who were hit but did not pass away. The only difference between a non-fatal shooting and a homicide is how close you were to the hospital. Mim says we need more social services, more community investment, and more people lifted up out of poverty. It is so much more than just hiring more police officers and putting them on the street. We will never arrest our way out of this problem. Now, there are a lot of people who live in this area, and police believe someone around here may know something as to what exactly happened early this morning. There's a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest, Christelle.